Welcome to Detention. This is a horror adventure game set in Taiwan in the 1960s under martial law. Let's go ahead and begin a new game. Uh, the continue button's here because I played for a couple minutes just to check settings. But let's start a new one. Class, the following material is important. Pay attention. This will be on the final exam. During this time period, many provincial military leaders The president then started the northern expedition, securing... Look, it's Instructor Bai. Miss Yin, may I have a word with you? Okay, class, let's take a short break. Miss Yin, have you seen this list before? Ah, did I fall asleep? This is strange. Where is everybody? How come nobody's here? A typhoon alert. There shouldn't be any typhoons this time of year. What's going on here? So it sounds like Miss Yin was suspected of uh, being something that the military did not like. You know, being under martial law, I'm sure any uh, attempts to go against their authority would be met with Probably violence. There's a note on the table. Added to journal, where did Miss Yin go? Whoever is passing this note in class was worried about Miss Yin. Miss Yin keeps calling in sick lately. That's weird. No kidding. Man, I hate those other subs they send in. I'll put it in my notebook. Yes, yeah, so we got this little notebook down here. Uh, at the moment, uh, let's see, we have the school anthem. Our school anthem, it actually has a decent melody. The lyrics, however, feel like another one of those propagandas promoting patriotism. School motto and rules. The first thing in orientation was to memorize the school motto and rules. All that be honest, be brave, be loyal, be frugal stuff, and making sure you know it was Principal Mr. Shen who established... Wait, was, was Principal Mr. Shen who established these foundations for us? That's a very strange sentence. So right off the bat, this game super reminds me just visually of The Cat Lady. Which is another horror adventure game. Yeah, the art style is pretty similar, although it's not quite as rough and raw as The Cat Lady. This is a little bit more, more neat and tidy. getting dark out. I should head home. It's a bulletin board. The holidays are the only thing I pay attention to. Marked on the calendar are the daily and weekly quizzes, midterm exams, final exams. Ugh, reading this is giving me a headache. Girls' restroom. I shouldn't be going in there. Fair enough. Don't have to use the restroom. Is there a save button? There is not. Hmm. I don't know if this is the sort of game that you can die in. It is horror, but it is also adventure. Let's look at the front of the classroom. Typhoon alert. I thought the weather was quite nice during history class. Okay, looks like that's it in here. It's locked. Oh, 
piece of paper lies on the windowsill. Sketch of the old banyan tree. An old sketch of what looks like the banyan tree in the school. There seems to be a figure underneath it. Looks maybe like military? Sort of like they have one of those military caps on. Hard to tell though. Pot for growing daffodils. Only one of them is still hanging in there. There's something in the dirt. Take it out? Yeah. An old photograph. Can't tell who's in the picture. There's a quote written on it. The roots below the earth claim no rewards for making the branches fruitful. I think this is the control panel for the roll-up door. Open it. Sure. Mechanical winch. Your instructions on the cover. I think I need a hand crank. Okay. Well, this is a creepy as fuck room. That looks like blood. This is one dirty raincoat. That musty smell is horrifying. Someone either spilled blood on that or maybe... Maybe they just really dug into a plate of baked beans. Kerosene heater. We used it last winter. Huddling around it and having a good time. Hand crank. Oh yeah, look at all the flies around the light. Diamond Sutra. Why would someone put this on the wall? I'm not familiar with Buddhist teachings. Drag items are moving toward to interact with objects. Gotcha. Oh wow, I was expecting it to be locked. It's definitely super reminding me of the cat lady, where there's a lot of like, sort of, almost like clip art, like actual, it looks sort of like they took actual images and cut things out and put them into the game and animated them. Not everything, obviously the character doesn't look like a photograph, but like these trees especially. The shortest route back home is through the auditorium. Let's go. Okay, I'm leaving. Is this girl? Is she sleeping? Oh, I thought maybe that was Miss Yin. Hello? She's not responding. Maybe I should get on the stage. <laughs> okay, yeah. Go touch them. Sure. They're a ghost. They're definitely a ghost. Wake up! You shouldn't be here! Um... Where am I? 
the auditorium. You were sleeping on the stage. Huh? The school is cancelled because a typhoon is coming. Typhoon? I just came from my classroom. You're the first person I've come across. Weird. How did I... We should get going. It's getting dark in here. And the rain is starting to pour. Oh, wait. My necklace is gone. What? Have you seen my necklace? I, I don't think so. How? I must have lost it somewhere. I'm not leaving without it. Are they missing a shoe? Or is that just like... No, no, I don't think they're missing a shoe. I think it's just kind of a weird art thing. It looks like they're, uh, the foot that's in the background is like just a sock, not a shoe. It's odd seeing the classroom chair over here. Is it for a school play? Where is it? How did I lose it? full-length mirror. Makes me want to double-check if my shirt's tucked in. Oh, I assume that was a whiteboard. Hmm. So odds and ends on an old military jacket. Nothing special here. Is that the necklace? That... Hmm. Is this gonna be a stick your hand through the fan blade thing and it turns on and you die? An old exhaust fan. The power's off. There's a dim sound coming from the end of the vent shaft. Something's in there. But I can't reach it. Oh, thank God. Let's get it with something else. A stick or something. Flagpoles and class signs. This stuff is used during our school assemblies an umbrella in the bucket. Take it? Yes. That should work. Oh, it's broken. White Jade Deer Pendant. Is this the necklace? You found it! That's awesome, thank you! Where did you find it? In the storage room next to the stage. It seems like someone threw it into a vent in there. What? Why would it be in such a place? Well, forget it. You found it anyways. Let's get going before the rain gets heavy. Sure. It's raining pretty hard already. It's too dangerous to stay here any longer. Let's go. This rock's been sitting here for quite some time now. People say it fell from a small temple in the mountain. Whoa, look at that sky. That has such a disorienting effect. It's like animated in a sort of staccato way. security office by the main gate. I guess even the guard left her home. Here's the campus exit.
What? The bridge collapsed? No freaking way. Oh god, okay, it's a river of blood. Oh god. Oh, why is the river red? This looks like... Kind of looks like blood. Blood? Don't say that. S sorry, I wasn't thinking. What happened? Okay, let's calm down and think about it. There's got to be a reasonable explanation. Hmm. Why is it red? Even muddy water shouldn't be this color. Ah! I think I know the cause of this. There are a few factories located upstream. It's probably them dumping chemical waste into the river under cover of a typhoon. Are you sure? I've heard people talking about it. Well, perhaps you're right. The worst part is we don't have a way to go downhill now with the bridge gone. Tons of people cross this bridge every day. This bridge should have been better maintained. Guess we have to head back to school. Won't do us any good standing here in the middle of the rain. True. Don't worry, it's just a typhoon. School has enough supplies for us to get through the storm. Alright. I guess I can trust you. You seem like a reliable person. Just trying to be optimistic. Let's get going then. tired. What a day. Just rest up for now. We may have to spend the night here. Oh, wait. I haven't officially thanked you for finding my necklace for me. I'm Fang Ray Shin, a senior from Miss Yen's class. You can call me Ray. How about you? What grade are you in? So you're my senior? Uh, Miss Fang, I'm Wei Chung Ting. You don't have to be formal with me. It's a bit awkward. Just Ray is fine. Normally we don't go to the senior building. I heard that it's a very competitive environment where everyone works their butt off studying. <laughs> it's not that awful. Some of us still do what we want. I do envy you for graduating. Soon you won't have to see Guo Fong on a daily basis anymore. Instructor Bai? I don't even dare call him by his whole name. Rumor says he was a relentless killer during the war. I wouldn't dare do that in front of him either. We're all pretty terrified of him. We avoid him any possible way we can. <clears throat> hey you, come here. Why are you hiding from me? Are you affiliated with the commies? Whoa, that was a perfect imitation. Giving me goosebumps. <laughs> Anyways, just... Hang on tight, buddy. It'll be your turn to graduate next year. Ah, <sighs> life's a struggle. Hey, I know what we can do. Let me go use that phone in the principal office, see if I can contact anybody. Then I'll grab that heater in the storage room and a couple blankets from the health center. That should be enough for us to get through the night. That's a well thought out plan. You need any help? I'll be fine on my own. You should rest up here, Mrs. <laughs> the, the man's got it under control? Hold on there now. Don't take me as one of those spoiled, pampered girls. I'm probably more capable than most of you boys. Uh, sorry, that came out the wrong way. It's okay, you don't have to apologize. I know you're just trying to help. Okay, how about this? I'll go make the phone call, then we can find what we need together and carry them back. Alright, that sounds good. I'll wait for you right here, just hurry back. It's getting real dark in here. Christ, it is dark. Okay, so we need the heater, some blankets. I don't know where the health center is. Whoa.
Great, we're stuck in some horrible hell dimension. His footsteps echoed softly, invoking a trace of suspense in me. Reality faded away as time stood still. I swallowed hard as the emptiness confined me. Looks like he's not breathing at all. Is he... dead? But how? He was fine just a moment ago. My god, I just met you. Tell me this is only a bad dream. Okay, Ray, take a deep breath. There's a notebook on the stage. It's Way's journal. I saw him looking through it earlier. Maybe there are clues to what happened? Well, this is... a change of pace. I wasn't expecting the person I was playing as to disappear and then die. I wonder if it keeps switching characters or if we play as Ray for the rest of the game or what. Oh, let's take a look at the necklace. The white deer is the mythical creature who guides the lost and the miserable. Well, I definitely need that right now. Um, let's see. Clue and notes. Clue, fortune-telling poem. A fortune-telling poem from the temple. Turn the wheel with the laws of universe to reveal the path ahead. I don't know what that means. And then the notes, I assume, are just the ones we already saw. Yep, looks like it. Yep. I don't think I want to stare at that anymore. It's too dark to see anything. Okay, so I can't really do anything if it's too dark, it looks like. Can I take a candle or something? What's going on here? What a nightmare. Oh yeah, I can. Just take this candle with me. Some meager light. What the? There's different stuff in there now? Notebook Club. A note with a conversation. Hey, I heard a teacher started a club for the students and are reading some prohibited books. Really? I thought that the book club was just a place for studying. A dead mouse. No wonder it smells so bad in here. God, I do not want to go out here in the dark. Doesn't seem to be raining too badly, though. Not badly enough to put out the candle or anything. Why are there now candles lighting the way? And why is there a grave here? The engravings on the tombstone were all rubbed off. What was this built? A shrine? 
worshipping a few deities. I don't recognize any of them other than the Earth God. What's that thing next to the incense burner? No. Oh. There's a note under the key. What's this? Facing the Lingered. Uh-oh. Picked up at the shrine seems like a page from a children's book. Don't be scared when you see the linger. Just hold your breath and quietly walk away. I feel like that's preparing us for seeing the lingered. Yep. 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 It is. Right click to hold your breath. Hmm. What is it eating? I assume I can't hold my breath forever, right? Yeah, yeah, you can't. So something about the Earth God, hold on. What did the clue say? Whoops. Turn the wheel with the laws of universe. Uh, I don't think that has anything to do with the Earth God. The trail downhill has disappeared. Okay. I feel like you probably can die in this game, given what I just saw. I can't see what else would happen. Can I see anything new now that I've got the candle? No. I assume- I haven't actually tried this door, but I assume it's locked. Yep. Phone? It's a phone. Is there anything new in the dirt with the daffodil? Lone daffodil. Must have been very hard for you. Who could be calling at a time like this? Perhaps I can get some help? <laughs> Fair chance of that. Way said he was going to try to get a hold of the townspeople. Maybe they're calling back? Uh, hello? I'm a student from Greenwood High. Someone here was found dead. Please, send help. Hello? Can anyone hear me? world is going on? I didn't read it because it was so loud, but they said they're waiting for us in the counselor's office. Who was that? How did he know it was me? The counselor's office is on the third floor. Oh! Why is it so red here? So... I'm gonna assume that if I quit, it just saves where you are. I hope. Because I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking it so far. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And I'll be back soon.